Did you know that performing acts of kindness can reduce stress, anxiety, and depression by 23%? That's right. Being kind isn't just good for others, it's good for you too. Welcome to our video on You Deserve Kindness. Today, we're going to explore why kindness is so important and how we can bring it into our lives, more of it into our lives. This conversation is so relevant to me right now as only a few days ago, I had a freak accident and fell to the ground. Out of nowhere, a young man from a culture known to not necessarily touch women, particularly strange ones, came to my rescue and literally lifted me off the ground. In a world that often feels harsh and uncaring, kindness can be a powerful force for change. So let's dive in and discover the magic of kindness together. Kindness is more than just being nice. It's about showing genuine care and consideration for others. Some have asked the question, how kindness will ruin your life? Think about the last time someone was truly kind to you. How did it make you feel? Was it a spark of kindness? Chances are, it brightened your day and lifted your spirits. That's the power of kindness. Unfortunately, kindness seems to be in short supply these days. We're bombarded with negative news and social media conflicts. People are quick to judge and slow to understand. We seem to no longer believe peace begins in me. This lack of kindness takes a toll on our mental health and well-being. It can make us feel isolated, stressed, and anxious. But here's the good news, kindness is something we can all practice. It doesn't require special skills or a lot of money. Sometimes, the simplest acts of kindness can have the biggest impact. Years ago, living in Toronto, one of the biggest and busiest cities in Canada, a spark of kindness happened to our president that she has never forgotten. It was a challenging time in her life and on this particular evening, she was having a tough day. Nothing seemed to be going right, and she was feeling pretty low, leaving the grocery store with a couple of bags of groceries. It was raining and as she started to walk to the bus stop, lost in her thoughts of worry about how wet her groceries would be, a stranger stopped her. She said, I just wanted to offer you a ride as it's horrid to be walking in this downpour. That small kind of kindness, a ride home, from a complete stranger, turned her whole evening around. It reminded her that there's still goodness in the world. Kindness can take many forms. There are many kinds of kindness. It can be as simple as holding the door open for someone. Or making a sincere offer, like in Claudette's story. It can be helping a neighbor carry their groceries. Or volunteering at a local charity. Even a smile or a kind word can make a difference. Here's a powerful example of how kindness can change lives. There was a story in the news about a man who was about to jump off a bridge. A stranger saw him and stopped to talk. This stranger didn't know what to say, so he just asked if the man wanted to get a cup of coffee. That simple act of kindness, just offering to listen, saved a life that day. The man stepped back from the edge and accepted the offer. Sometimes, kindness is a lifesaver. When we encourage others, that is an act of kindness. So why should we practice kindness? First, it makes others feel good. It can brighten someone's day or even change their life. Second, it makes us feel good too. Remember that statistic from the beginning? Kindness reduces our own stress and improves our mental health. It creates a positive cycle, the more kindness we give, the more we receive. Kindness also builds stronger communities. When we're kind to others, they're more likely to be kind in return. This creates a ripple effect, spreading positivity far and wide. In a world that often feels divided, kindness can bring us together. So how can we bring more kindness into our lives? Start small. Set a goal to do one kind act each day. It doesn't have to be big or dramatic. Remember, even a smile can make a difference. Pay attention to the people around you. Look for opportunities to help or brighten someone's day. Practice empathy, try to understand how others might be feeling. 
And don't forget to be kind to yourself too. You deserve kindness just as much as anyone else. As we wrap up, we challenge you to make kindness a priority in your life. Remember, you have the power to make the world a little bit better every day. And who knows? Your act of kindness might be the one that changes someone's life. We'd love to hear your stories of kindness. Share them in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and remember, you deserve kindness, and so does everyone else. Be the kindness you want to see in the world.